I had about 20 long two-hour documentaries on my first and biggest channel, Gure. Here you can see that, Gure. That was my biggest channel. Uh, which uh, Swissy managed YouTube taking down my entire channel with two-hour videos like Auschwitz made in Switzerland and Switzerland financed the Shoah, which some jaywalkers in Israel and in the US would like to have. So if someone copied them somewhere, please tell me. The Swiss corrupt Nazi police stole all my backups like my hard disks, my memory cards, my computers, cameras, DVDs, files, everything. Over two extended house searches to eliminate all the evidence I had collected on the Swiss crimes and their history of crimes. All gone forever. And on that very same channel, Gure, I also had accumulated all the proofs of that 20 year Swiss Nazi terror on me and my children. Ole, wohin soll ich? Oh, das darf ich. Das, das ist das Gesetz. And the proofs of the Swiss doing code O2T torture on me and other immigrants in their various max security prisons for political prisoners. Code O2T is torture by oxygen deprivation, just like waterboarding or wearing a mask all day is today in today's bug wars on humanity which you can find here in the Zurich files link in the internet. So you all understand why you have to wear that mask. After they had probed it on political prisoners like me in Switzerland, the center of global control, where they never had any lockdowns for themselves. Hey, Swissy. Hey, yeah. Looking at the lockdown map of Europe, it's like looking at a map of Europe during World War II of Nazi occupied countries. Looking at the same maps with the same white spot in the middle, it's like we're still in the Third Reich, with Nazis and other bugs perfectly recognizing the Swiss border. <laughs> Even the bugs recognize the Swiss neutrality. Watch this video here on my other channel and understand how Switzerland is behind it all. <clears throat> so I retraced a small part of the evidence which people send me back by mail, whom I had sent some of the evidence many years ago. And it's funny here, you see here the evidence, you know what I'm talking about and what I'm going to show you later on. You see here the vertical rule is becoming the square, like in the square and compass, eh? the concept of four. So, and it is in white because, uh, well, actually this should be in red then, but the red is here for the old world's order. And the new world's order is a white, like the white house. And around it is blue, you know, for the war crown, you know, people dying for it. Well, we were dying for it, not, not them, eh? Therefore, I'm doing this video here so at least Swissy won't entirely get away with these crimes against humanity. Though only a tiny part I could retrieve of all the evidence accumulated. Too bad, but what can you do standing with your back against the wall against this very powerful enemy? Mobilizing a considerable amount of manpower to destroy me, my family and my work. I even made three official complaints in three different French cities at the French state's attorney, on which I never even got an answer, because it's their base of all these Freemasons and all key positions in all the world's countries. Switzerland is their main money base where all the world's NGOs are, all their treasures in the Swiss caves, etc. I tried to warn the French authorities against the coming terrorist attacks in Paris, orchestrated by the Swiss, but the French just wouldn't listen. So you can see this film here, it's about 40 minutes. This is the title here in the same channel. 
So for telling the truth about this extremely violent Swiss Nazi cop and showing the evidence in the video here, how the Swiss Nazi cop Hans Rudolf Kühni hits me. Ole, wohin soll ich? Oh, das darf ich. Das, das ist das Gesetz. So I got sentenced to pay a fine of 20,000 Swiss francs, which I didn't have, needing to go to prison for one year and two months because a corrupt Swiss cop hits me. You see, here it says, you know, Volzugs begin, the beginning of the prison sentence, uh, July 16th, which I showed before, 2015. Well, they arrested me in front of my children, my little girl, she was only three years old and she was crying her heart out. She's, my children are still traumatized because of it all. And here, the end of the prison sentence is one year later and two months, so August 29th, 2016. And, you know, and it says here, Qualificierter Verleumdung, you know, that I'm, I'm saying something about the cop, which isn't true. I mean, I've, I've got, I've got three witnesses. You can see, you can see the video footage. He's hitting me. You know, they're, they're a bunch of crooks because they didn't have anything else against me, you know, because I'm not a criminal. And here's the, uh, Strafmaß, the total Strafmaß, the, the, the total, um punishment chf that means swiss francs ch is uh confederatia helvetica eleven thousand swiss francs plus nine thousand that's twenty thousand swiss francs and i started my prison sentence on the day i got arrested in front of my children on july 16 2015 in the torture detention center Regional Gefängnis Bern, Amthaus Bern, where they murdered also the Austrian guy who um, wanted to stop the Swiss banks and their, their, their evasion, their um, tax evasion. You know, uh, the Swissies, they're a bunch of crooks. You have no idea, people. So I just want you to copy this, please. Upload it everywhere else and all platforms and all that video platforms i just don't want them to to have this proofs disappear i i just don't want that to happen they already had my whole channel disappear and, and take it off and all all the proofs disappear i just don't want them to get off with it that easy you know not what they did against me and my family also what they did against the 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 jaywalkers in the Second World War, financing and organizing the entire Second World War, uh, they need to pay for this. So also for making uh, this video here, the third vid on this channel, where you can see several Swiss attacking me, living in Switzerland felt like living in Nazi Germany in 1933 and be a jaywalker. Or like being a Nubian in some clans controlled area. My children are still traumatized by the Swiss experience and suffering from severe PTSD. Ole, wohin soll ich? Oh, das darf ich. Das, das ist das Gesetz. So here I go. This is some of the information. I just don't want to lose it. You know, that I, I already lost a lot. So this is in French. I also put it in some things in German. And there will be in English too. So this was part of the official complaint I left at the French uh, state's attorney. Just punch pause if anybody watch, wants to read it. My problems really started in Switzerland in uh, 1998 when I wrote this in the Basler Zeit uh, newspaper, which Basel is Baal in uh, French, and it got published in 1999. And the you know the Swiss Nazis read it, and uh, from then I then on the, the the terror actually started. I hope you can read it. I think I have another screenshot. I'll I'll go and search for that. Okay, so here I find I found a better copy in the um, of the Basel 
a newspaper where the biz is, you know, the Bank of International Settlements. And um, immediately after, Swissy kicked me out of Switzerland. But, uh, well, I didn't go. So here's the whole text in one go. Just punch pause. Here can see the ganzen text lesen. Drücken Sie nur auf die Pause Taste. So here's the medical analysis what oxygen deprivation is doing to your system, which I made uh, like 20 years ago. And I'll give you many proofs in Swiss newspapers about how uh, the Swiss um, are doing this on prisoners and political prisoners and immigrants, you know, to kill them. And the same, you know, wearing the uh, the bug wall mask. They will have the same effects on your body as this here. Okay, the text goes on. Just punch pause. So I also made the, the this medical uh, code O to T uh, analysis in French and in German. So if anybody wants to have that, or I can also send you the. Um, if you send me a mail, I'll send you the um, uh, the thing, you know. So all you slaves, I made this like 20 years ago. And uh, now we are, so everybody wearing a, a mask. And you children, you must know this, eh? So I, I just do it in English. You know, it gets too long uh, before I did everything like 10 years ago in French and German and English. And, you know... It, it didn't lead to anything, you know, that uh, the terror still goes on. There's no human rights. So if, you know, if there are any Germans or, you know, or German-speaking people or French-speaking people who want it in their language, so, you know, they can just write me a mail or leave a comment. I say it in German and French now. Alors, s'il y a quelqu'un qui veut la... Les, les accumulations d'acidité et les effets secondaires de porter une masque que j'ai fait ici là, il y a 20 ans. Mais je ne le fais pas tout ça dans un film là. Vous m'écrivez un, un mail ou un, comment, un commentaire et uh, je le ferai. Je vous l'enverrai. So, alors, also, wenn es hier Leute gibt, die das hier, bah, das sind die Tatsachen hier, die uh, medizinische Analyse. Wenn man eine Maske tragen muss, und das habe ich hier vor 20 Jahren, habe ich das zusammengestellt. Wenn jemand da diesen Film mal auf Deutsch oder Französisch will, also lass mir einen Kommentar oder schreib mir ein Mail und vielleicht machen wir das dann. Aber es hat mir alles nichts gebracht. Es hat, wie mehr ich geredet habe, wie mehr, je mehr hat sich den Schweizer Terror verhärtet gegen mich und meine Familie. Also, Ich weiß überhaupt nicht mehr, warum ich es noch weitermache. Das alles hier bringt alles nichts, oder? Okay, tschüssi. So they probed it in, in, the, in the motherland of all evil in Switzerland. You know, the effects, what the mask is going to do on your system. And this is my medical analysis, like from 20 years ago already. At that time, you know, when they tortured me, I sent it all over Switzerland to all these organizations, really thousands of letters, you know, that was before YouTube. They just didn't care, you know, no answer, nothing. I wrote to politicians, to organizations, you know, Amnesty, Red Cross, you, you, United Nations in Geneva, you know, with all the phony talk about how nice it is in Switzerland, how neutral. You know, didn't bring me, they, it hardened the terror, you know, even the United Nations, they call up at home, you know, and terrorize me. Oh, it's, it's terrible, everything, eh? Okay, a bunch of pause. So, this is interesting. Um, well, this address, don't use it anymore, I'm, I'm not there anymore. They, um, they chased me away. But here uh, it says Dr. SDF Sean Ross. And as I don't have my papers anymore from South Africa, nothing, not my, my university stuff, I had to flee, um, not my passport, nothing, no documents, 
nothing. So when I was in France, you know, before getting to Switzerland and living like a homeless, um, the um, um, people I met, you know, they uh, they called me, they they gave me the surname Doctor SDF. SDF, it's French, and it means a homeless. It means sans difficulté suisse, sans difficulté. Uh, sans domicile uh, fixe. Oh dear, tired. So that means homeless in France. So I, I, I took it as a surname, you know, like, it was, you know, it was nice, you know, because I know I, I, I can't have the pay, I don't have the papers to prove it, you know, my, my doctorate. So, um, and so it is forbidden, you know, just put doctorate. So I always put it like this here. It's like even rappers, they call themselves Dr. I don't know what, you know, doc, Dr. Rapper or, uh, you know, many and all this. So they can do it. There's no problem. You know, you can do this. It's just a surname. But what did Swizzy do as they, you know, they were just looking, you know, what can we do to harm him? You know, what can we lie together uh, to harm Sean Ross and his family? So this was one of the things they did too. And they said, well, he used the doctor's, doctor's title, and um, which he can't show. Well, I didn't. They're just a bunch of crooks, a bunch of liars, you know. I always stuck to the rules and the, and the laws. I, did, I, I put down Dr. SDF, which is a surname, you know. It doesn't matter if I, if I'm, I, if I can show my doctor's degree or not, you know. And um, I, I, anyway, I don't really care about it anyway, you know, because well, usually doctors, you know, they just they just chewed what Pharaoh taught them at university, and they 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 uh, they spit it out, you know. They, they they can't really tell you anything anyway, you know. So, and then I wrote this uh, to this article to this newspaper in uh, Austria about the Austrian guy who got murdered. Uh, Wolfgang Umfogel concerning the, um, the tax evasion to Switzerland, which, which was a big deal all over the world, you know. And so, and this newspaper, they only wrote, they didn't write in the article Dr. SDF, which I had sent them, but only Dr. Uh, so the Swiss, you know, that's not my bloody fault, is it? And uh, they just didn't put it in there. So it was again, you know, Swiss thought, you know, oh, we got something to hang on, you know, we can terrorize this guy and lie that together that he used the doctor's title in this article, which I didn't put in there, but the newspaper did. Eh? So that's another one of the Swiss lies, you know. It's lies, 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 you know. You know, the different type of lies, you know, usually people lie, you know, to, to make them, to, to show themselves better, you know, like in front of a woman, uh, you know, they want to, uh, or, you know, like for a job, or then there are other lies, you know, to avoid punishment, you know, at school or children or against the the universal terror authorities we have now by Pharaoh or their, their Roman police force. Or, you know, that's usually people lie because of these sort of silly things. But the Swiss are completely different. They lie to hurt people. You know, like all the all the lies they are spreading to the world about, you know, about the jaywalkers and all that, that they are the bankers. Well, the, you know, the Swiss are the bankers. Get out of here, you know, Templars. So they Swissy lies to hurt people, to harm people, you know. And that's all over the world where people lie, you know. And normally, that that's hardly the case for other peoples, but that's typically Swiss, eh? Ole, wohin soll ich? Oh, das darf ich. Das, das ist das Gesetz. So, because I sent so many letters all over, there was this Swiss uh, newspaper who went and have a look in this um, in this prison and write an article about it and having my information about the code O2T torture, which I again when I had it, it's from 2005, when I had it, um, the article 
with the proofs of other people saying, well, people are being tortured by oxygen deprivation. You can't breathe in here, you know? I, so I took the article, like I have a copy here, and I send it all over. And then, you know, the Swiss terror by the authorities w with which all the Swiss agree with, you know, let's go and terrorize some foreigners. You know, they love to do that over there. Um, you know, they, they, they intensified the terror, you know, like uh, with a few clicks more, you know. So here you see the article is from July 17th. <laughs> That's almost the same date when they got the, the, when they arrested me, you know, like and put me in prison again. And uh, 10 years later, exactly 10 years later, 2015, July 16th. Oh, funny. So here is the, the uh, this is the name of the, the magazine or the, um, you know, in the, um, in, inside of a newspaper. And you see here, it's called Sie und Er. Uh, she and him. Well, well, anyway, that's better than Adam and Steve, eh? <laughs> so, you know, you see, you see that. I made a film about it, you know, about all the Swiss articles, you know, and, you know, like cheese and things you buy in the supermarket. You know, they, they feel this urge, you know, that they, they can't really control it anymore. They really have to do it and put that Swiss cross on it everywhere, you know in the streets or in the newspapers and everywhere it's so sickening right eh? you know they, they just it's it's um like uh, uh, compulsive you know they, they can't control it it's uh it's beyond them you know <laughs> it's uh pathological patholo pathological actually so i'm not going to bore you showing the whole the entire newspaper but here where it's green you know you can see it says Es waren anstrengende Tage, schlechte Luft, Hitze und Enge herrschen im Bau. So there's no air, it says, you know. So I only show you the proofs if anybody, you know, wants to do something about it. Well, it's for sure. No Swissy will ever do something about it. They only care about money and terrorizing immigrants and, and saying bad things about the jaywalkers and kill them all like, you know. Um, if anybody wants to have it, I'll send you the, um, uh, the whole, the whole text by email. Yeah. So I hope if I'm not there anymore, you know, for one reason or another, this will stay here. You know, I don't want to get away with it. You know, neither what they did with the, to the jaywalkers, neither financing the second world war and all the wars and organizing the terrorist attacks and, and the bug wars and this here, you know, it's plain torture. I'll read it for you. Seit Tagen schon liegt der Sommer drückend auf der Straße und der Gefängnisbeton hat die Hitze aufgesogen wie ein Schwamm das Wasser. Mehr als 30 Grad, kurz vor 7 Uhr. But it says, in, in the early morning, you know, at 7 o'clock, it's already 30 degrees Celsius. There's no way, you know. Alle Fenster sind verschlossen, weil wir viele Untersuchungshäftlinge einsetzen, die keinen Kontakt zur Außenwelt haben dürfen. Es gibt zwar eine Lüftung, aber niemand spürt, dass sie tatsächlich funktioniert. In die Nase kriegt ein Geruch aus Schweiz verbrauchte Luft und Zigarettenqualm. You know, here it says, there is an air conditioning, but nobody feels or, you know, that it really works. In the nose, there's a, uh, a, a mixture out of uh, sweat, used uh, air and uh, cigarette smoke, you know, coming into your bloody lungs it is i there's no air it's torture i couldn't breathe in there you know here's some more saying there's no air you know bad air schlachten luft you know and you, you couldn't open a window everything is sealed off you know it's like uh, the air condition only some air conditioning that didn't work bringing the air you know i felt like being an insect in a marmalade glass really yeah, you see a nice neutral Swissy, you know, looking into your cell, you know, yeah. And here it says, die Luft scheint so oft ein und, ein und ausgeatmet worden zu sein, dass sie einen milchigen Schimmer hat. It says, uh, you could even see the, the air, you know, because it was so many times breathe in and, and breathe out. It has like a milky uh, glimmer on it, you know. It was, I could see that as well. Plain torture. 
They probed, you know, did all this bug wars mask wearing. They probed it here in this, in, in the mother of all evil. That they probe everything here, actually. Uh, here, here they uh, they compare the climate uh, inside the prison with a glass house. So here's a film from 2015. I was away for half a year from making not making videos. Here's the title. And uh, they tortured tortured me through code O2T oxygen deprivation, as you can see here. I felt like a bloody insect in a uh, in a marmalade glass. I did, and this is how the Swiss they probed the um, like wearing a mask. You know, that's oxygen deprivation, just like waterboarding. So I'm gonna read you now. <coughs> The um, again, or show it, and I read it. The uh, the man medical analysis of code O two T torture, which I made twenty years ago, already twenty years. So if anybody wants to have it in English, German, or in France, French, you send me a mail. I send it to you, and please spread it. So for me, this here was already a reality twenty years ago. And I wrote this here 20 years ago when I got tortured like this and the Swiss probed what's going on now on political prisoners in their high security prisons. So why torture in torture prison burn Switzerland? Code O2T. Impossible to breathe in Guantanamo, in Guantanamo or Gitmo in army slang because of filter on mouth and nose or lack of oxygen in Amthaus High Security Prison in Bern, Switzerland. Still is white torture at the height of its art. Doesn't leave any exterior traces and attacks the brain directly, cause 80% of the air taken in goes to the head under normal circumstances. And this is a medical fact. California surfing is exactly founded on the same technique. California serving, that's another word for waterboarding, this is the, which they used before. The subject is being tied onto a board and the head is forced underwater just until the subject doesn't die yet. Consequently, a chronic lack of oxygen is being created, as in Amthaus prison in Bern. That makes the head cooperative. Never the blood will be correctly nourished with the appropriate amount of oxygen. Therefore, on torture around the globe agree Experts on torture around the globe agree that O2T, phonetically of O2T, is oxygen torture, still is the best. Phonetic transcriptions like K9, K9 is a dog squadron, are common use in English spoken countries in the army. Or, or fear, for the T, or brew, or 2T in which the head is being submerged, sounding phonetically almost as O to T does. This was the, um, the word they used for it. Uh, afraid of the brew through, though grammatically not completely correct, but a tiny detail shouldn't get in the way and spoil all the fun in all of, would be more correct, but anybody gets the meaning as it is. And at the same time, an additional secret code is created, again enabling Deciphering the matter. The CIA, Cocaine Import Agency, emphasizes on the practical side as improvising in the field concerning O2T, mere, merely using a toilet, a bucket full of water, tape, or a plastic bag. Before in history, the extracting of intelligence was obtained by cutting, sawing, hanging, hitting, pulling out, chopping, and electroshocking, always confronting the subject with the potential of a heart attack. In the meantime, heartbeat lowering medicals were administered. And that's why O2T is so beautiful, between brackets, because side effects as those concerning the heart are avoided. And in Switzerland, several foreigners were deliberately assassinated by the state through O2T by taping them on a wheelchair with mouth and nose tapes, leaving only a straw in the mouth for breathing, with on top of that uh, an integrated motorcycle helmet for total O2T, a diameter of four millimeters only for, only for clinging on to life. And they put them on airplanes to mostly Muslim third world countries, similar 
to the actual kidnappings of third world citizens and then trans flights uh, all over the world by members of the firm, the green slime in army terms. By the way, death by crucifixion also is state planned murder by O2T. One dies through every muscle in the entire body being exhausted, finally leaving thoraxial muscles unable to expand and retract until suffocation by O2T follows. In secret service manuals by the military counterintelligence, there's word of oxygen partial pressure in kilopascal. In case the occasion is presented to control or manipulate the oxygen pressure in the air at a military base by scientists and doctors, here survey is an important factor concerning the limits of severe brain damage at the maximum level of 8.0 uh, kilopascal. Within extreme cases of national security, these limits may be surpassed, it says. In the manuals, it's pointed out that the direct consequences of O2T are tissue hypoxy with anaerobic uh, gycolysis, without countermeasures followed up by blood poisoning and internal bleedings of the lungs, as was Apti Daud's case, who was murdered by O2T by the Swiss state on March 24th, 2008 in the extraditionary penitentiary of Cloton. A hypoxy is a lack of oxygen in the organs tissues by O2T. Therefore the organism starts burning up sugars instead of oxygen. So lactic acids are being produced. The latter chemical process is being called a glycolysis, a chemical breakdown of glucoses into lactic acids under anaerobic conditions, without air that is, equals O to T, resuming this scientific process by the terminology of a lactic acidosis. This is what the diagnosis would be as a result of the murderous O to T. To acknowledge furthermore that day and night in the Cloton Penitentiary one breathes in the kerosene exhaust gases of the airplane, airplanes, what consequently will lead to chronic hypoxy through O2T. And all Abdi Daud's physical complaints as arthritis, blood poisoning, are to be considered as the side effects or consequences of a lactic acidosis through code O2T. And the authorities are very well aware of it, as the international cooperation of all secret services has been established. Non facet pugnum digito uno. 2008 by Sean Ross for the OPG. Non facet pugnum digito ono is Latin. I made this proverb myself and it means with one finger, one cannot make a fist. So team up people. You know, to me it was like a déjà vu or in English like a déjà vu, which is French. Well, we all know that when I saw this with the masks happening, you know, and uh, well, as a homeless, I didn't have a place because French is not very hospitable and not very helpful either, not very solidary. So I couldn't make this video, which, which I'm doing now. So, um, yeah, so, and it's quite interesting, you know, in a way it, it sort of shocked me that I already made, like 20 years ago, for me, this was an actual problem. You know, I got tortured like this. And now you all have the problem, the same problem. Though I still think like, well, it was more severe, you know, being in a cell with no oxygen then. Uh, I was all alone and there, were, there was far less oxygen than under the mark. But well, let's say it's the same thing, but it is, it is really so. I go on with my medical analysis I made um, 20 years ago. So chapter two of it is O2T and chronic accumulation. With O2T, code O2T, uh, oxygen deprivation, the subject is being heavily tortured in every cell of his body, though the damages are not immediately visible from the outside, as is equally the case with the American waterboarding. Waterboarding is one of the many forms of O2T by which, as with all O2T, the inflicted damages are incurable because of the dying of brain cells and also after the termination of the 
torture, as after a switched on button, the organism won't stop degenerating where cells continuously die. Through drastic increase of stress, panic and fear of slowly suffocating, the process of cells dying will be on the rise. As if a switch or interrupter has been turned, the internal structure of the subject's cells even after many years won't stop to de de degenerate and cells will continue to die, in spite of the fact that O2T belongs to the group of slow tortures. The consequences are beyond repair and invisible from the outside, the insidious side of O2T O2 torture. O2T characterizes itself as well by chronic accumulation. That means that the building up takes place because the longer the elapsed time over which torture has been committed and applied, the more tired and saturated the subject's organism will gradually become. The torture's consequences after, well, let's say, six months uh, are per day comparatively much greater as the consequences within the first week. At the beginning, the cells, the cells still offer resistance and the intrinsic values within the cell structure still show a higher amount of oxygen in the beginning. By the end of on the cellular level, all resistance will be broken and with that the subject resistance as a whole. This is the moment where extracting military intelligence terminology for questioning, where extracting can start. Through the destruction of the cells by lack of oxygen, premature grey hair can cons consequently be witnessed on the subject, as can be seen if suffering cancer in a similar way. That's why I got grey hair, people, in a very short time. Of course, the unimaginable sufferings of a foreigner subject is of no importance to fanatic Swiss Nazis of the notorious SVP party and others quite similar to a US specialized intelligence operator and others whom has been eliminated all leftovers of conscience in his brain through political indoctrination and enhanced determined training. The enemy, a terrorist or a black SVP sheep just deserved it in his mind. And with this, it has to be observed that in fact, ethics and human rights are inexistent. It has been statistically proven that the best clearing and extracting rates are being obtained through O2T. And around the torture prison of Bern, the Swiss Justice Department is fully aware of that. Especially in summertime when through too little differences in temperature, air currents are practically in existence in the penitentiary uh, the O2T is considered to be most dreadful, where most people are being suicided. In Bern, Switzerland, there is talk of real experiments on humans going on, as through total nepotism all want to earn on the degenerated corruption around the Justice Department in Bern, Switzerland, lawyers Securitas Suisse, uh, the SS, transporting the subject they who bring the food, who built the prisons, architects, construction firms, psychiatrists, psychologi psychologists, hospitals, the pharmaceutical industries with their pills, politicians, a sheer endless list of corruption in Switzerland. These Swiss especially love to murder defenseless people like refugees, um, among many others, they murdered the 27-year-old uh, Khaled Abu Zarifa from Gaza on March 4th, 1999, by ultimate code O2T, the code word for death by suffocation. The tides will turn for the CIA and for the Swiss Nazis. Today's torturers might be tomorrow's victims whereas the responsibility for the crimes against humanity won't be just limited unto the torturers only. Chokiarla, our time will come. Ole, wohin soll ich? Oh, das darf ich. Das, das ist das Gesetz. So here's that article from uh, 2011, how they arrested me with an anti-terrorist court, which came 
uh, in the biggest uh, Swiss uh, newspaper. I, uh, I, ju I just don't want it to disappear, you know, because it, the Swiss is trying to make everything disappear, all the proofs um, about their crimes, you know. So this is me here. Look like a look like a Pashtun here, right? <laughs> so this is the second half of that article from June fifth, two thousand and eleven, and that was just after they killed the um, that Austrian guy who wanted to give information about uh, the, the criminal tax evasion into Switzerland, and um, that was the reason actually why they arrested me and all that you know and because of my videos of course so i'm going to show you next uh, that article about the austrian guy in which my name the um which my name appeared so there it is the young austrian guy he got uh, su suicided by the uh, by the swiss nazi authorities the article is from here you can see it from October 2nd, 2010. That was about the same time I started uh, making videos on YouTube. I was already making videos like 10 years before, but never published them. And uh, as my name was in the article, uh, they sent me the anti-terrorist attack because if you criticize the Swiss banks, you're dead, they'll kill you. So here you can read the rest of the article if you read German, just punch pause. So and this is the end of it. Uh, here you can read my name. So when the Swiss authorities, the secret police, when they and the thought police, when they read this and my name, they sent me the anti-terrorist squad because of this. Yeah, and you see it. It says historian, doctor, and they forgot to put in the SDF, which I always I, I send them. A, like like that so so the swiss they uh they also put me in prison for that you know they just they all work together you know basically the newspapers and it was already a miracle it got into the newspaper like this because well they sometimes they have internal problems you know like i mean the guy was austrian so the swiss killed him they only took it, it took them two weeks in a um in a high security prison for political prisoners to have him suicided. A young, healthy man. Good guy. You know, I wanted to do something good, eh? All the good guys get killed. Ole, wohin soll ich? Oh, das darf ich. Das, das ist das Gesetz. And then because of the um, the article criticizing the Swiss banks that they murder people in, in Swiss um, high security prisons, um, there was this aggressive Swiss cop, uh, Hans Rudolf Kuni. I showed you the picture a couple of times and the, um, the footage of him hitting me. And he got orders, you know, just to, to, to hang some, something on me so they could, you know, they could grab me because you know, I'm not a criminal, you know, what can, what can they do, yeah? Well, they just light some stuff together. And I made some videos about that. And... Um, all the newspapers, all of a sudden, you know, I was all the time in all the Swiss newspapers. Like this is here, it's 20 minutes. You see that here? Um, and after the policeman, he, he, hang up, he hung up a lot of lies onto me to get rid of me. The guy, he got, uh, he got killed. He aggressed another person, a Swiss person even. And he just got killed. And I, I thought that I mean, this is uh, divine justice. So I went to his grave, which you can see in the, uh, in, the in that video. And um, here it says they call it Hasreda of YouTube on YouTube. They talk about me. They say it's hate speech. <laughs> I mean, telling telling the truth and um showing the the footage of a, of a dirty cop hitting me they call that hate speech you know they all they all work together you know, all these newspapers they all it's all the um they're all the king's newspapers you know just or pharaoh you know 
It's just one bunch of criminals there. There is the rest of the article. And it says here that I, I said it was a divine justice, you know, the corrupt police who was a schizophrenic psychopath. Well, he was. And the guy who killed him finally, the Swiss, who also got aggressed by this cop, they, they murdered him. The Swiss murdered him, the Swiss authorities in a high security prison, where I, where I also was in that prison at a certain time. Um, without, you know, people just disappear in Switzerland. There are uh, 16,000 uh, asylum seekers who disappeared. I also made a video about that. It says, Zuid-Afrikaner, a South African, you know, talking about me. And here again, in another newspaper in 2013, they're still talking about it, you know. Tagesanzeiger, South African, that's me. Querulanten, Datenbank. So they're using my case, you know, like they want to make an official uh, database of all people who criticize like the Swiss state. You know, so they can terrorize them and uh, they already made new laws. They can just put you in prison for about five years uh, and in a psych psychiatric asylum just for criticizing the Swiss state and the corrupt Swiss police and criticizing their bank. You go to prison for five years and um, you most likely won't get out alive anymore. So they use my... Uh, my story um, to make new uh, total control laws, which are coming over everywhere over the world on the in the world. It all it always starts first in Switzerland, the base of it all, and then a few years later you see it pop up in England and in 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 uh, America and all over the same thing. Um, uh, um, with the torture and um, and and you know uh, probing the uh, code OTT per, uh, torture on uh, political prisoners in Switzerland, and then you know the CIA was doing it with uh, waterboarding, and we have this uh, stuff with the mask going on, right? And so before you also see like the UK, you know, like recently over the last few years turning into a total dictatorship and that already they probed it in switzerland you know before and you can see it going on here before it really happened in the uk and, and, and everywhere you know so swissy didn't like it at all you know that i talk about their um their uh, oxygen deprivation code o2t which you can that's why they write about it here you know they just say, no, no, we are neutral, we don't do so, things like that, you know, and we are, we, we are not Nazis, we didn't finance them, um, we, are, we are honest and we are clean, you know, we never does, did something wrong, Adolf Hitler, he wasn't in Switzerland, and, you know, go on and go on, eh? And in the part before, they, they even wrote in it that I, I shot at them with a water pistol. They were deadly wounded, probably, eh? <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of liars. And here they compare me with a Swiss who shot at the police, Peter Hans Kneubühl, as if I would do things like that. You know, why would I do things like that? You know, where, where do they get it from? They are the ones who torture me and put a gun in my head and, you know, make my children cry. I mean, I don't do things like that, you know. But they absolutely want to get rid of me, you know, and um, here too, it says I have to pay 1300 francs another time. They just want, and here, 3000 francs, they just want money, 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 money. The Swiss love money. Well, the Jay Walkers, they, they can tell their story about that, eh? How the Swiss stole their money, right, and killed them, killed the... Um, the jaywalkers in the uh, in the concentration camps, so they could take the money. Ole, wohin soll ich? Oh, das darf ich. Das, das ist das Gesetz. And here again, yet in another newspaper again, the Tuna Tagblad Tun, like in that girl, like from Sweden, Tunberg. Forgot the first name. Uh, who got her name from from this place, Thun, Thunberg. There's a mountain in the middle of it, where I 
Greta Thunberg, yeah. I uh, made a video about it, or I put it somewhere in a video a couple of years back. This is from 2015. So four years after that cop got killed and five years after they murdered the the, uh, the, uh, the Austrian guy, they're still talking about it. And now they, you know, they're coming after me. And they say here, big letters here, and again, the police murder got glorified, <laughs> which is absolutely not true. I don't do things like this. I only told the truth that he was a liar and that it's better that he's gone so he can't hurt any more other people. I mean, that's the truth, yeah? And I've got the proofs of it. You know, I, I, I had a short video footage, which I show here in this video. Um, just before he hit me and I had to stop filming because he put his hand on his gun and all that. You know, there are the laws of silence around Switzerland and um, uh, everyone got silence up, you know, if you talk about it. And um, it's the Omerta because it's the biggest mafia in the world. And it's, it's a terrible bunch of liars. It's incredible. I mean, it was a Swiss killing another Swiss, you know, and, uh, but in the end, the, uh, the immigrant or the foreigner must be responsible for all everything that happens in Switzerland. So they're really going after me. It says the internet video, my video, and the rest of the story. It says film material. Uh, Ermittlingsbehörden, it means they, they did a house search and they, uh, they ransacked the house and all that. And here again, uh, the South African here, here it says YouTube, video material. You know, they are portraying me as if I'm, you know, making me a... a a dangerous criminal out of me and, and some somebody who's bad and evil and uh, they, they just they just turn it around what an evil bunch they are what an evil bunch Ole, wohin soll ich? so here again yet another newspaper the uh, Berner Zeitung from Bern where the capital is this is 2013, South African. Here it says, uh, YouTube, I, tell, I say they are corrupt. And I, I say they're Nazis. Look, here they're standing, Nazis. And they say, I swear with the word Nazi. But Nazi is not swearing. It's an expression. It's, it's a word for which there's no other word. It's a name of people behaving in a certain way. And I can't possibly express myself in another way, expressing their attitude and what they're doing as titling them as Nazis, which is not swearing, you know, it's not some dirty word or um, that, that's what they are. I mean, why should I piss around the pot? Eh? So here they stand, you know, acting as, you know, victims or something, you know, at the funeral. And this is the Swiss, the, the corrupt Swiss Nazi police. I'll, I'll say it again, and I'll, because it's the truth. They're corrupt and they're a bunch of liars and aggressive. And it goes on here, YouTube and, and the 51-year-old South African X. Now I'm X here. And here it says Wasserpistola. They, you know, they're, they're claiming again and, you know, they're, they're moaning again, crying. Their guys hurt them and shot at them with a water pistol. Oh, can you believe it? They're absolutely crazy. And, um, you know, here in France, I think the French police are, the, they're great, you know. I even last year, there was a French policeman, a big fan of my videos, who invited me at home for a week. Uh, they're, they're friendly, respectful, they don't lie. Uh, they even took me hitchhiking in the police car already three times here in France. I mean, it's not that I'm a police hater or something like, uh, like they put it here. 
But um, it's not at all like that. I mean, the French police, they respect people. They At least they respect me. I respect them back, you know. I'm polite, which I, always, which I all, also was with this, um, this corrupt cop, uh, Hans Rudolf Kuni, and his corrupt, uh, the, the police woman that was with him. You know, I shook their hands. I said Z, which is the, the polite um, way to address someone in, in German. They just wanted to destroy me, you know, because of that banking stuff. The, you know, when that I talked about this, that they killed this young man, you know, about the tax evasion. Here it says that I told them that instead of uh, terrorizing innocent victims, they should uh, go and search for Swiss pedophiles. I mean, is, is that forbidden? Can't you say that? I mean, they're always protecting Swiss pedophiles, you know, because of all these Freemasons on key positions. Uh, actually, I beat one up in, uh, in 2000 and I, I saved two children. His name was Ernst Stoller. Well, guess who went to prison? Eh? Me, for two months. This, this is the worst country in the in the entire world people uh but anyway the uh the, the swiss child molester well he was out of service for the uh, for the season i tell you that i i i demolished them i tell you he had to uh two up he had to severe two operations and uh yeah well swiss i tell you the world is gonna know oh yes the world is gonna know It says they uh, they censored my videos in Switzerland. You can still see them. Yeah, again, video, YouTube. That's the Swiss thought police. Eh? They don't oh, they don't like YouTube. Eh? And they the Swissies they fear the truth like the devil fears the holy water. Right? Oh, the wohin soll ich? Look, the judge's name is Salome. Well, what do you know, eh? It's the Erev Rav. Uh, the jaywalkers know what it is. You know, the Erev Rav. Look it up. It's like E-R-E-V and the second word R-A-V. Even in Israel, they got the same problem with these Erev Rav. Um... Apparently, when Moses, when he, when he crossed the dip, you know, with the Exodus, he took the, um, uh, the, um, the magicians of Pharaoh with him. And apparently God said, don't do it, Moses. They are no good persons, but he did it anyway. So some people in the net, they call them the, uh, the crypto jaywalkers, the Erev Rav. And... Um, even the jaywalkers in their own country, they, they get terrorized by these Erev Rav and all key positions. You, you know, the whole thing goes deeper, you know. So here it says, I, w I was uh, sentenced for Leumdung, that's uh, defamation, because I called the cop um, um, uh, corrupt, violent, uh, even giving the proofs, you know, and, and witnesses. Verleumdung, yeah, yeah, beschimpfung, that means uh, swearing, because I call them a Nazi. Well, that, that's not swearing. There's no other word for it, you know. It's like, uh, I mean, um, yeah, well, it's, well, it was the only way to describe him. There's no other word for Nazi. Who, who can tell me another word for Nazi? I don't. Unanständige benemens that I wasn't uh, behaving properly. Well, I was. I mean, he was hitting me. I said Z. I shook his hand. You know, they, they turn it all around. And here it says mehrfachen ungehorsam. It means uh, uh, disobedience in plural. You mean disobedience? You know, they they, they told me. They gave me the order not to make any more videos, and I was disobedient, you know. Well, and I continue to be disobedient, yeah, in a civilized way, you know. I'm, I'm not, I'm, in my channel, in my videos, 
I don't swear, as they say here. I behave properly. And I don't like people swearing in my channel. And I tell them so. So it's, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's the motherland of all lies. You know, the, the, um, the whore of Babylon. So as I told you before, this is the same time, uh, 2013. They were using my case and all their lies, you know, to um, in their pre-crime laws. And in Switzerland, they do have the pre-crime laws now. Uh, they have a database and everybody, you know, like it says, problematische Behördenkontakte, like me. Problematic contacts with the authorities. Well, it is problematic, I tell you. And... Um, and for them, it gets really problematic when you, you know, express yourself about it in videos. Well, they don't like that. They go like, Shh, yeah, like the devil. And um, so here it says the uh, the database here, yeah. and they have it now. They use my case, you know, to make a database in Switzerland, pre-crime, so they can put you in prison, you know, for five years. If there's some psychiatrist who says, well, I'm uh, this guy, you know, um, you know, he has a, um, a problematic contact with the authorities here. You know, they just put you away. They even did that with Americans. I tried to, I wanted to interview the guy, but he, well, he escaped to America. You're never going to come back to Switzerland and he didn't want to be interviewed. So too bad. Again, look to South African and um, a historian. They put it in between brackets, you know, because um, well, this is my another newspaper, Der Bund, which means the alliance. <laughs> you know, what kind of alliance Swissy has with the Templars, right? Hey, that's a Bund. Like in South Africa, the Bruderbund, yeah? Who betrayed them with the president, the clerk. Uh, here's my old email, which got hacked by the uh, by the Swiss uh, police. So that's why I never l click any more links. That's that's finished for me because of these criminals here. I can't click your links and watch your videos. People, nice and good people sent me. I can't do that because of these Swiss criminals. Yeah, it says again, Querulanten Datenbank. You know, the 50 year old one old um, uh, me, South African. They're going on about it. They're, they're absolutely, you know, they, they chose to use me to put this total control pre-crime, pre um, put somebody away for five years for doing nothing uh, based upon, upon me. Um, but I'm not going to shut up, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to shut up. You, you, you're not going to silence me up, Swissy, with your laws of silence. Forget it. Ole, wohin soll ich? Yeah, here too, it says, es kam zum Streit, there was a fight, well, there was no fight, the guy was just hitting me and lying stuff together, I didn't fight, if I would have fought, you know, uh, well, you know what, right? Yeah, here it says, uh, Ende Mai wurde er schließlich verhaftet, weil er geplant hatte, die Beerdigung des Polizisten zu besorgen und zu filmen. It says, the end of May, I was eventually arrested because I was planning to film and to visit the, uh, uh, the funeral of the, of the cop. And um, so only for wanting to film a funeral, they arrest you, you know, with an anti-terrorist court. Come on. And here I was betrayed by a jaywalker who was pretending to be my friend for many years, but he was working for the, um, for the Securitas um, secret police. A traitor, a jaywalker traitor. He just betrayed me. And um, here it says again, South African with all that. And it says here, um, yeah, well, they wanted to take off my videos. So here, you know, with the line from before, it says the internet, the, they ordered me, the Swiss Nazi Justice Department, they ordered me to take off my videos from the internet. And I refused it. So they arrested me because I refused it. 
And here I, I, did I say in my videos that the Swiss are Nazis and uh, they, they want to take over the world, um, uh, the world, the rule over the entire world. Well, they don't want to take over the rule over the entire world. They're already doing it, right? Uh, you know, South African, South African. And they call this, uh, the newspaper, the Kronenzeitung, and Boulevardzeitung, which is like a minor, like not a, not a serious newspaper, eh? because they, they write something about the Swiss, so automatically then it's not a serious newspaper. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about, again, about the, um, the, data, the database here. And querulant, it means uh, recalcitrant. So I'm recalcitrant. I'm, I'm not recalcitrant. I just want I just want the terror to stop, to leave me alone, you know, and my children. Just leave me alone, you understand it? That's not recalcitrant. I just want to live in peace. Or, or, or what can you do if they don't let you live in peace, eh? But they are bloody recalcitrant and they, they don't, just don't care about any international laws. They're all signed, you know? Recalcitrant database, you know, it's... And they compare me here with a, a guy who shot at the cops. I don't do things like that. I'm just making videos and say, stop, please leave me alone. Don't terrorize my kids, that's all. And it says they're comparing me with this guy who shot at the police. That's what it says here. Well, I'm not doing things like that. I mean, the defamation is against me, you know. I'm, I'm not defamating nobody. And they hear yeah, the justice director, Christoph Neuhaus, they, they all. I'm problematic and all this. And here, the SVP Nazi party, they, they just turn everything around, you know, and using my life and the well-being of my kids, you know, to set up the total control laws, you know, so they can put anybody in prison for doing nothing. <laughs> Even before he does nothing. Yeah, the SVP Nazi party. Uh, it means the Swiss People's Party, uh, like the uh, like the NSDAP, you know, the Nationalsozialistische Deutsche Arbeiterpartei. They uh, they they wanted as quick as possible, you know, the yeah, as, so schnell as möglich, as quick as possible. This um, it's very important to get this. Um, this database of um, recalcitrant people, so they can, you know, before they even do something and open up their mouth, you know, that, so you can just, you know, lock them up for five years or more. Oh man, this is the way we're going. And it always happens in Switzerland before, and then, it, you know, you'll see it everywhere in the world, except lockdowns, no lockdown in Switzerland. They never had any. You know, the, the, the bugs and the Nazis were also sort of bugs. They recognized, they all recognized the Swiss border. Right? Ole, wohin soll ich? Oh, das darf ich. Das, das ist das Gesetz. You're not going to like it, Swissy, but I'm, I'm, I'm bringing some transparency here. Yeah. So this is, um, you know, my name here, Sean Ross, and this is by the, the canton of Bern. And by the um, the Justice Department, and uh, so begangen it means uh, these are the crimes I've committed. Begangen it means committed. One, two, three, four. I'm going to show you one, two, three, four. <laughs> oh dear. So there we go. Fasten your seat belts. Yeah, number one, and here number two. And this is the logo of the the canton of Bern. This is the uh, the bear, like in the end times. Hey, eh? you see the crown here? Hey, eh? it's still the aristocracy ruling people, Pharaoh, right? And there are three parts in it here: one, two, three, for the concept of three, right? So, what did I do? What are my crimes? Look. I made this video, Lenin, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. Oh my, oh my, that's terrible. On the internet platform, YouTube. Oh, that's terrible. How could he do that? Oh my, oh my, oh my. He made a YouTube video 
and he has to go to prison for years. He has to lock him up, and so he won't open up his bloody mouth anymore. All right? And, um, and saying, hitting me, for saying the cop, he hit me, the aggressive Nazi cop, he hit me. So you cannot say this, you know? Well, he was a Nazi cop, and I say it again, so put me a couple of more years in prison then, eh? Yeah, YouTube, uh, this video, and, uh, and uh, for a lot of other videos. Eh? This is the center of Nazism, eh? This is Swaziland, the, um, the whore of Babylon with the seven heads of state, the beast with the seven heads and the ten horns who divide ten ministries among each other, founded by the Knights Templars just two and a half months after the end of the Crusades. So here's again, this, oh yeah, a video, uh, the article of the, uh, the Swiss um, judiciary, the article 292, oh, that's terrible. I made the video, Swiss Nazi Justice Department protects dangerous neo-Nazi, prisons full with innocent immigrants. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, how, how could he say this, you know? Oh, we must, you know. And um, here it says aggressive Cooney, the aggressive cop. I mean, why don't they look at the evidence if they're looking at my video? The evidence is there, and I'm going to put it like five times in this video where you can see the, the, the Swiss Nazi cop Cooney hitting me. And here it says there's some separate post coming in five or eight weeks, like the, uh, the snail mail, eh? Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, eh? Well, send me the post, eh? Only this is already 10 years ago. It says, Wert erkannt is being recognized. You know, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, here like pay 2000, or else 70 days in prison. Yeah, 70 Tagessetzen of 30 francs each. Or pay 8000 here, 80 days in prison. Pay another 3000 Swiss francs, THF. Is CH is Confederatia Helvetica and F is for the Franks. Uh, or and another 110 days in prison, pay two here yeah, 2,000 Swiss francs, or I don't know how many days in prison, pay another 2,000 and another 283.50. Well, how, how do they get the 50 cents here? Yeah, <laughs> I wonder. <yeah. laughs> Altogether, I have to pay 20,000, which, which will be which will be like 50,000 now. So in the end, you know, the only thing I could do is I well, bye bye. You know, I had to leave my family because of this terror. My children grow up without their father and just hit the road, Jack. What else, eh? I right? think they're so smart, eh, the Swissies. Oh, but they're sly, man, they're sly. Just look what they did with the Swiss banks in the Second World War. They're so sly. So, yeah, that was, here's the, uh, oh, I have to pay 11, oh, they calculated all, they added all up for me, you know, like, uh, so I don't have to add it up myself, you know. I showed this before, there was the 11,000, and then there's the other 9,000, so 11,000, <laughs> you know, they didn't give me a work, working permit, you know, so how can I, you know? Um, so these are, this is the family of, um, of the Nazi cop, Kuni, probably his wife and his daughters. You know, the tough guy could only make daughters, eh? And this is their lawyer, Ernst Reber, Schmiedengasse 21 in Burgdorf. You remember the videos I made about Burgdorf, that is the, um, the, the Nazi center where there was this, the, this, Duke, you know, the an anti uh, an anti jaywalker guy in the um, and and a big hero for Mr. Hitler in the eighteenth um, century already. Hitler, he re read all his book, you know. That, you look, that, that's where they come from here, Bookdorf. And um, so charming video, ch charming people, eh? So I suppose they're because they are complaining here, a private uh, complaint against me. So they are, I suppose they are getting the 11,000 Swiss francs, you know? It's just corrupt, you know? They destroy my entire family and get, and get 11,000 Swiss francs. And they got the whole 
bloody Bernie's corrupt Nazi police department behind them because I criticize them and I'm telling the truth about it. Eh? So they got all the help in the world, you know, and just, you know, see how they treated me afterwards in, in prison, the, all the hatred I got from them. Eh? Ay, 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 these people are so bad. They're so bad. You know. And some more here. Pay this, 3,300 in, in 2013. Oh, what a charming family, you know. they 20,000 Swiss francs they stole of us with their lies, you know. Maybe they can buy a new car or something. It's, it's a business. For Swissy, everything is a business, right? Justice is a, you know, the Justice Department, it's a big business nowadays. Everything is a business, especially for Swizzy, eh? And, you know, I've got, I've got, I don't know, hundreds of kilos of documents and papers over 23 years of Swiss, incessant Swiss terror. And, and they even stole it, you know, after the, the house searches. It wasn't there anymore. I can, otherwise I would have shown you everything they did, you know. But, oh. I'll just show you this. That was the the last stuff, uh, you know. So you know, saying the truth and um, making videos—it's really dangerous, you know. It's like uh, you know they're claiming like, oh, our journalists, you know, they're getting murdered, and we have to protect them. They're like in the Middle East, they they murder him. But what's happening here in Europe, you know, and in the sort of Western world? They do the same thing. They murder you if you open up your mouth, you know? And uh, so I'm sorry, maybe this is a bit boring, this video for you, but I have to do it. I'm sorry. So it, it will help me to go on what I'm doing, you know? I, I need to do this. They, they, they can't get away with it, you know? So please copy it and spread it and make other titles and... So it will never get lost, eh? So most of it already got lost, but, you know. And it goes on and it goes on, you know, they're just choking some, they're just choking you under a, a heap of papers, you know. This is, this is me, Sean, Ross, uh, then, uh, what is this? My number, a Vollzugsauftrag, that means go to prison, you know. One way directly going to prison, this is like Monopoly. And here it says, you know, here it's about the academic title. Well, I already explained that to you. And here it says, uh, I wasn't correctly, um, uh, well, you know, where I was living. Uh, it wasn't correctly, you know. I was living with my, uh, with my family in Bern. But because they, you know, they terrorized me in the canton of Bern, I asked the uh, the independence movement of the of the um, of the Jurassic people, like in Jurassic Park, the same thing, right? Because they found a lot of um, uh, dinosaur, you know, like uh, bones and all that. And so I was, I I put my papers, you know, uh, like here. I mean, they chased me to here, you know, I didn't want to do that. I, I, they didn't give me any choice. So first they chase you away into another canton. And um, when you've done it, then they, you know, they, 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 they sentence you to pay money. And if you don't have the money, you go to prison because they chased me. Right? They're just looking, like I told you, the Swiss, they're just lying. They use another sort of lies to hurt people, to harm people, to destroy people, destroying their lives. They, they you know, that's different sort of lying. And uh, it says I was swearing. Well, has anybody heard me swearing ever, you know? Uh, defamation, a qualified defamation. Well, how the hell do they qualify it, eh? It's a qualified lie, I tell you. It's a Swiss qualified lie. And I met this Jurassic people in the West because they're actually French and they got, uh, after the Battle of Waterloo, 1815, um, the Swiss just took it over. You know, they just um, invaded the people and, and they don't want it, you know. And I met them in the, uh, during the Giornata Internationale in Corsica, where once a year, all the independence movement all over the world, they all get together, you know, all the peoples without a country, like the Irish or the Northern Ireland, 
like the uh, the, the Basque people and the um, the Zut Tirol, Southern Tyrol, they all get together once a year. And I was there and I met these people, so I asked them for help, you know. And I, I put my papers uh, officially, I was inscribed um, in the canton of Jura because they chased me away. You know? Okay, but I mean, I found a solution, chased me away. Okay, well, I'll go somewhere else then, eh? if you don't want me. And then they, uh, they sentence you, you know. You see how evil it is, how incredibly evil. So here it goes on. The, these are the dates when I did my terrible U YouTube crimes eh? and where I did it. Oh, they're really precise in their crimes, eh? It's their crimes. And here the coat of arms again with the crown. And again, why is there a crown? You know, they, 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 they never had a king. I, uh, why is, why? It's not even a, um, uh, it's not a monarchy. It's not even a, con a constitutional monarchy. I mean, who's wearing this crown? Eh? Well, I tell you, the Knights Templars, they come out of the aristocracy. Eh? They probably give the devil himself a crown, eh? the, uh, the whore of Babylon base of all evil, eh? He's the prince of darkness, isn't he? And here, it goes on, four, five, six. Um, it says, I was uh, um, inscribed in saint -Bry, in Jura. J-U, like in Jurassic, Jurassic Park. And uh, uh, here's the other, the other crook here, the other police, the policewoman. Erika Kunz, Polizeibeamten. I wouldn't be surprised if that if she would be a uh, a pinkless killer. Eh? She wants it. She looked like one. Eh? Um, a liar. I'll I'll show you uh, what she, her, her testimony. Complete lie. Complete lie. And here they say like the Kantons Polizei bespritzt her that I, I I shot at them with a water pistol. I mean. <laughs> oh, here they say, here. Yeah. Um, uh, the title Dr. SDF. Oh, here they say it, Dr. SDF. Well, they've been Dr. Homeless. It's a surname. The Kronenzeitung as Historica, Dr. No, I didn't. They made it out of it. I always say Dr. SDF. I mean, Dr. Homeless, because, uh, um, you know, I, I lost all my papers in South Africa. You know, I had to move there. Everywhere, you know, everywhere I go, I'll get problems and I, I can't go back there anymore afterwards. Yeah. Huh. They're talking about the Kronenzeitung. Um, I mean, I, I rub it under their noses now, you know, that I'm a historian. Eh? They, I, I analyze their entire bloody history I did. Hey, eh, Swissy, the world is going to know. Yeah, they want more money. It says Wert erkannt. It's being recognized. Well, what do you recognize? Hey, more money. 1,000 Swiss francs, 300 Swiss francs, 30 Swiss francs, 3,300 Swiss francs. And here they say it. You know, they stole my laptop, the HP Pavilion. I never got it back. They even took my DNA profile as if, if I'm a, like a serial killer or what. Well, why don't they, they say here they stole my camera, they stole the hard disk, they, they, stole, they stole computers, other computers, they stole uh, memory cards, USB sticks, uh, DVDs, files, they stole everything. They only write down here the, the laptop, the HP Pavilion, which I never saw again. I mean, thieves. Well, we know it by history. Switzerland is a bunch of thieves, you know? Look what they did in the Second World War. And they're still doing it. They will never stop. Why weren't they at the Nuremberg trials? They were the big missing. Yeah, more money. It's 2006. Well, just put it on the old mountain you want of me, eh? Just put it there. Here, yeah, more. Here, yeah, six, almost 7,000. Uh, oh, this guy here. Look, he earned 7,000. So we paid them 20,000. And he got 7,000, so there's 13,000 that goes to this family here. The, uh, the Nazi cop family. Oh, a charming family, eh? For destroying my family, you know, for nothing. They get money for it. 
Charming family. Charming Swiss, aren't they now, eh? Here, look, nice signature of the of the uh, state's attorney. Ha, a Ruexegger, like Schwarzenegger, you see? Same bunch, eh? We all know his father was a uh, SS of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's why he became the uh, the governator, you know that. And here, the the, uh, the judge, Mr. Baylor. And from what I heard, Mr. Baylor, he's a pink list killer. You know, that's why he destroys my family. Yeah. Nice. I'll make it official. Make the crime official, eh? With a nice signature. And we all believe it with a stamp and a number. No, but it isn't the truth. It's a lie. Hmm. Yeah, look, my channel, Gure. The pseudonym. Well, what, what do you mean, a pseudonym? It sounds like I'm hiding under another name or whatever. I, I put my name in the channel. I'm not hiding. There's no pseudonym. It's just the name of a channel. Hey, homie. You know, every word they use, they use it in a, like in a negative way, you know? Strafbefehl. Strafe means punishment. Uh, I want to go to Israel. That's That's... The only place to, you know, people are victims of Nazis as well. You know, even in a couple of generations later, just like my family, you know. It's the only ones who would probably understand me, you know. In France, they didn't want me. In, in England, they didn't let me in or they, they, let, they let the rest of the world in. Because it's not a humanist asylum, it's a political asylum, you know. It's divide and rule, you know. There's no humanism, it's political. It's politics. You know, make a big Arabia. That's what it is. And they really made this. You know, they 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 put it all together. You know, like in the Crusades, they already set it up. You know, the uh, the Caliphate, the Caliph, and the uh, and the European aristocracy, the Knights Templars. Uh, that's that's where they created the whole idea of what we're seeing now. Right? It needed two world wars to get rid of a, a couple of whiteies, you know, to make place for the others. A pseudonym bureau. That was my. They, they they took the whole channel off. You know, Swissy managed to take my whole channel off. It's probably a big party in the police station. I had videos in there. You know. So like 22 hour documentaries, like Auschwitz made in Switzerland and. Switzerland financed the Shoah, and they wanted to take that off, you know, it's all proof. Now they're gone forever, because they stole my backups, my everything, you know, my... Damn criminals they are. Oh, my poor channel, Gure, gone. Okay. I may, uh, they didn't want this film either. Stop the criminal Swiss Nazi Templars of Octagon. What was wrong with that? Well, Hatze Fratze is still there. The video, the real forces behind Bundy Rain standoff, Nevada, BLM, Senator Reed, Sierra, or militias. Well, that's concerning America, you know. Why, why do they take that off? I probably told them in, I told you in this video that there are one million Swiss Americans giving all the proofs and they just want it off, eh? And they took it off. You know, they're extremely powerful. And they're not stupid. Swissy is not stupid, you know. They're highly intelligent. Yeah, the um, this video, the the they did it was forbidden as well. I got I got sentenced, you know, for these videos by Article Thirty Four FF, whatever the hell that means. Uh, uh, up, uh, abstract one. Art uh, all these articles here, you know. Article. <laughs> 352, Article 422, Article 426, Absatz 1, I think that's what it means. Huh? So making YouTube videos, there are a lot of articles for not making YouTube videos. Huh? So this video here, the KKK, Cooker's Clan from Switzerland, Racism, the Heart of Nazism and Criminal Banks. Swiss didn't want to see that, so I have to go to prison for that. Appeal for violence in Switzerland against American citizens in 2012 Swiss newspapers. The Swiss really did a, um, an appeal for violence against Americans. They did, people, they did. And they just don't want people to see this, you know.
Well, anyway, my channel Gure, it's gone. So in honor of my stolen channel, and they stole all these inf all this information, my best videos I ever made, uh, they stole it off from you people. So in honor of my channel Gure, uh, the abbreviation G point, I point, etc., I'm going to start an organization. And for the abbreviation G-I-U-R-E-H, like GURE, it stands for Group for International United Rescue of the Earth and Humanity. Sort of a, a human liberation army. Hey, Swissy, we're coming. We're coming, Swissy. And we're coming for the Whore of Babylon. Look here, they want more money, 3,000 Swiss francs, and article this, and 500 Swiss francs, and altogether 7,400 Swiss francs. They still want it. I still, you know, they're still going to put me in prison there. You know, the, um, because of the private complaints of this charming family, the Cooney, the Cop family, the Cooney Cop family. It's a business. I mean, how is this possible? It's justice is business, you know? You get money. You say, oh, I don't like what he's saying, so give me money. And they win. Swiss is always winning, you know. And then this lawyer, where is he? Uh, well, he's coming up. He, he, he did nothing. He had his, uh, his lawyer thing, bureau next to the Justice Department. He's coming up now. I'll show it to you. Hey, this, this is the lawyer they gave me. He did absolutely nothing, you know. He's on the, he was on, the, on their side. You can check it out, Weisenhaus Platz. It's, it's the same place, it's next to where the Justice Department is. On one side is the Justice Department, the other side is the, uh, uh, is, is the police house, the police uh, commissionary. Um, oh, I'm losing my English as well. And look, it says here the state's attorney. Well, they put a nice, what kind of a signature is this, man? What is this? Like this. <laughs> like a spiral. Well, I, I mean, this <laughs> it's like spiraling me in, you know, like I'm being sucked into all this. And it says Lopez. It's like the bloody MS-13, you know, sentencing people and getting money, you know, it's like extortion. It's like Mara Salvatrucha, you know, probably, she probably has a... Uh, it's a, it's a woman, I think, uh, as far as I remember. She probably has a lot of MS-13 tattoos, right? Well, anyway, the, the, this woman is, of course, she's not Spanish or Mexican or wetback. She's Swiss, but she married a uh, some Latin lover, right? Whom, whom they probably already kicked out of the country as well, just as me, as, as what they do with foreigners. And she's still got the name. <laughs> so this lawyer, he did nothing. He was on their side and her side. He did nothing. Just was just sitting ducks, you know. I was the sitting duck. So here, Sean Ross, uh, dossier number. You know, it's all here. Mon numbers, numbers, money, money. You know, no more numbers. Reference number, fall number, uh, date. You know, that's all here. Except this is all a lie. It's a complete lie, you know. Sean Ross, the sitting duck. You know, you want to hear the duck? It's like bloody Uncle Dagobert. They just want money, eh? You know, the, the, the money dog in, um, in Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. Well, this is a Swiss Dagobert duck, eh? Getting the money, heaps of money. Yeah, look, look how precise the Swiss can, can be if they want, you know, if it's to receive money. You know, altogether 11,000 from me, CHF, Swiss francs, or 9,000, which is a whole, which is more than a year in prison for making YouTube videos and telling the truth and for not doing anything, being polite with the police. I was really polite. The French police, they know it, that I'm polite with them, you know, I respect them. And I was with them as well. They're just a bunch of liars, you know. So you see how precise Swissy can be. Everything is precise. So the question we can ask ourselves here, why weren't they not that precise, you know, giving back the jaywalkers their money and their gold and everything? You know? 
They were not <laughs> they were not precise at all, eh? They did they sort of a general amnesia. We don't remember, eh? Oh, it was such a um, a chaotic time. We don't remember, eh? Well, aren't these chaotic times too? Well, look how precise they are. I, I, you know, you could you can't even wrap your head around it there. So precise it is. So I already showed it to you, but this is a better copy here. So 20,000 Swiss francs. Here it says Ersatz, uh, Freiheitsstrafe aus, aus Geldstrafe, unbedingt. Unconditional. Go to prison, unconditional. Because if you're a poor man, you go to prison. You can't pay it, you know? It's, it's like, you know, like there's the corruption dictatorship. It's coming in through the back door, you know? Just giving it. Instead of you know directly you know sentencing me to one one year and two months in prison for this altogether, I did five and a half years. They sentence you, you know, like the laws are are there for it, all sorts of laws, you know, like well, it's you know uh, they are you know civilized, so they they give you a fine, you know, but the fine means you go to prison. So the corruption is coming in through the back door, right, and it's. In Switzerland, the back door is wide open. So here it says, you know, Vollzugs begin, the beginning of the uh, the prison sentence is uh, November 11th, uh, November 29th, 2015. Hmm. Well, how's that? Already, oh, here it says, sick, the, the um, no, it means uh, the uh, the beginning of the sentence is here, July 16, 2015, and they open up the door, you know, one year and two months later, on August 29, 2016, next year. So then I, I thought by myself, and they arrested me one more time, at the same time when the, the Swiss serial killer, he wrecked, he wrecked the whole family and... He was a pink list killer, you know, raping a little boy in front of his mother as well before um, uh, slitting his throat. So I thought, okay, well, Swissy, I'll be gone, eh? I'll be gone. I'll withdraw for a while, you know, it's just a tactical withdrawal. And, um, but the war is not over, Swissy, eh? Now we're six years later. My Swissy is still not over, eh? But I tell you, Swissy, the world are gonna, the world is gonna know, Swissy, that you are the whore of Babylon, with your seven heads of state, the beast with the seven heads and the ten horns, I Swissy. Yeah, it says here, Vollzugsauftrag. He has their phone number. Yeah, another phone number. Numbers. No more phone numbers. For making YouTube videos. Sean Ross, big criminal, eh? Here's his prison number. The bear, eh? Like in Revelations, the bear with the crown, eh? The crown ruling over the bear. It's a coat of arms, eh? Aristocracy is still ruling. Ole, wohin soll ich? Geht das, geht das oh, runter. das darf ich. Das, das ist das Gesetz. So look here is the account of the um, the crooked cop here Hans Rudolf Kuni and his colleague Erika Kunz Kunz und Kuni uh, com complete lies you know it says unanständiges benehmen I didn't behave well I mean you know me you know I don't lie I give you proofs I I don't I I behave well I don't swear uh, it's complete utter lies. Look here, the Swiss liar. He says that I threw things um, mit fahrer. That's me. Um, I, I threw things out of the car, and I endangered other um, other drivers. Uh, it's a complete lie. And even if it wasn't, you know, they don't even have any proofs. They didn't show anything. They just lie, you know, just the Swissies, the Swissies, they lie to harm and to destroy other people, you know, 
just as they are, you know, that they are spreading all this disinformation about the jaywalkers, you know, same thing, people. They brought the entire Nazi ideology. It all comes from Switzerland. I know them, people. And look, they're very precise in their lies, you know, like here. So we all believe that, you know, that they are telling the truth, you know. You see what I mean? It says it was nice weather, schön, it was dry, trocken, it was a good sight. And um, it says, I don't understand it, what would I mean with this? It says there was uh, some cars. Or, um, and it says Ausländer, Ausweis, you know, foreigners, you know. So already when the judge reads that, Ausländer, Ausweis, you know, he already knows what to do, you know. That means a foreigner ID. I, I had a foreigner ID in Switzerland, right? I lived there for 23 years. They never gave me a Swiss passport or anything. If a Swiss he goes to the US or in, to the European community in five years, they got a, they got a like a, a European or a, a US um, passport. But the other way around, you know, well, nothing. Forget it, right? So it says uh, Erika Kunz and me in the patrol car. Yeah. Uh, Wasserpistole, a water pistol. Wow, that was a drive-by shooting, eh? Wow. Hey, you can see, Herr Ross, that, that's me. He says that I was swearing at them, you know? As I was all the time, um, I told them that they are punishing, you know, innocent citizens and don't do anything against uh, pedophiles. Well, that's not swearing, I'm just expressing myself. You see how he's lying? And then he says, um, here, I, I, told, I took my, my digital camera out of the car and, um, and I asked him to repeat it, what he, the, the threats he gave me. And he says um, that he forbid me to film, to, to videotape him. Well, he didn't write down that he hit me, eh? And that he, you can see in the video footage he's grabbing after me, eh? And he says that my children, Kindon, uh, I try to uh, put my children up against them. Now, well, what's this? Well, I was trying to comfort my children. They had to sit in the car for a, for a bloody hour. They were small children. I had to protect them, you know? You see how they're lying? I mean, why doesn't he say it? You know that I'm I'm a care I'm, I'm 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 a caring father and going to my children and telling them, look, these are the bad by guys. You know, that's what I said to my children. You know, uh, don't worry, kids. You know, and here it says again, shimfung swearing. Well, he even says it himself. What kind of swearing I did? I just expressed myself. Bunch of liars. You know, for that, you know. 20,000 Swiss francs for this year. More than two years in prison. I did five and a half years in prison for nothing. Only for expressing myself. So you see my videos, I'm expressing myself. So they call that swearing probably. Now, did anybody hear me swearing? Huh. So look, here he signed it, the report here. Yeah. Hans Rudolf Kuni. Now you, you can even see he's lying here, you know. So this you already read. It was only this. I couldn't put it in the frame. Ole, wohin soll ich? Oh, das darf ich. Das, das ist das Gesetz. So here's the other liar. You know, his um, the uh, female cop, probably a pink list killer, Erika Kunz, and uh, Mitarbeiter, the one, the other one, Hans Rudolf Kuni. So now it's her talking. You see, it looks very official, you know, all this backed up by all these police here, uh, attorney here, numbers and dates, and it looks very precise, you know. The only thing is they're lying, you know. And all these numbers, so you think it's official and it must be true, you know. Uh, they're so sly, they're so sly. Just, just during the Second World War and afterwards, they're so intelligent and they're so precise in their lo organized lies, you know. Hey, look, she's saying exactly the same things as her, as her partner. 
unanständiges Benehmen, Beschimpfung. I was swearing and I didn't behave well. It's, it's the other way around, people. You can see that in the video footage. Uh, that's... This country is an entire lie. The whole history is based upon lies. And I gave you the true history of this base of all evil. The whore of Babylon. Look, now I get it, you know. Um, she is talking, which the, the male cop didn't do. Well, he had a wife and children, so it doesn't always mean something, but I suppose he was straight. But he, so he didn't say these things that I was talking about, um, about the pink list killers. Yeah. Swiss pink list killers. I can't even say the word, you know, so. Um, but she does. So I know for 100% sure that she was a pink list. She is a pink list killer. And I also know for 100% sure, because that lawyer told me, that the Judge Baylor, I think his name is Jörg Baylor, he is a pink list killer. You know, it's a conspiracy, you know, against family fathers and families. You know, it's the pink list killer mafia, you know. And they do um, appeals for violence, as I've already shown you, you know. It says again uh, that I said uh, pink list killer, child molester. Well, I never said this, you know, and I never said anything about about any pink list killers, you know, because well, I I know you can't, you know, there's there's all, there's all sort of laws, and there's the pink list killer mafia, you know, that grab you if you do so, and um, so she's a pink list killer, you know, they destroyed my family uh because i criticize the pink list killers as well and the and it comes all out of the knights templars and the uh the freemasons they you know they shove it down our throats you know they confront our children the, the whole time with all this pink list killer stuff you know on tv and even children uh movies and so yes he said her colleague Cooney well if you're German you can read it all and I tell you Swiss you better read this all you know because it's coming back to you it's not it's not going to disappear right it's not going to disappear and if I express myself about certain things being terrorized by the police which you did uh, the pink list killers in the name of the Swiss police terrorizing me and my family I may express myself, and I, that, 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 that is not swearing. I'm not the kind of person who does swear, which, which all my viewers know. And here too, you know, she said well, all the time there were passengers passing by, you know, and she told me to, uh, I should, um, I shouldn't, um, uh, I, I should calm down. Well, there were no passengers. It was very quiet. It was uh, almost outside of town. It was outside of town, actually. And she never said this, you know. I mean, they were pushing me around and threatening me, lying. And here, yeah, she's also here about my children. And uh, that I said, uh, I should, I, I said Lügenschweizer. That means um, the Swiss liars. Well, actually, I didn't. I said uh, Swiss lies the other way around. Schweizer Lügen. When I was, I, I remember that very well, you know, because I was talking about their, about their history, expressing myself, you know. Uh, I, I remember that very, very well. And I know. I mean, I'm not stupid, you know. I know if I if I say uh, like. Uh, liar Swiss, you know, the other way around, you know, I get problems. But I may say Swiss lies. So they just turn it around, you know, they're, they're so sly, you know. It's, um, it's, it's a pink list killer conspiracy, you know, together with, uh, with Nazism. Well, you know, it's, it, I show that in my videos, you know, today's Nazism, it's all, 
um, all it's all ruled by pink list killers, right? Um, horrible, 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 horrible. I mean, she doesn't say that I tried to comfort my children, which I did, you know? Not a word of that, right? Just lies, just lies, defamation. And I had to go to prison for this for defamation while they are doing it, you know? I mean, it's typical Swiss and it's also typical pink list killers, you know? The aggressors, the aggressors are just slipping into the, into the victim's role. Well, that's what Swizzy did, you know, like during Second World War and after. And the Jay Walkers, they know it. And I know it too. And same thing with the Pink List Killers. Well, they are not our victims. Forget about it. You know, they're raping our children, you know, and 69% of them <coughs> are serial killers. And that's official. Oh, wohin soll ich? So here's the um, the testimony of my wife. Here's the address. Anybody wants to back her up. And here are the two criminals, Cooney and Kunz. Mr. Cooney and Mrs. Kunz. Um, her, my wife is Regina Loy. She is a nurse. She's helping people. And the pink list, the mafia, you know, they know that we raised our children, you know, that being pink list killers, it's not good. You know, we wanted our children to be straight, you know, no, no, like Adam and Steve stuff, you know, and all these, yeah, and, 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 they, and they don't like it, you know, they don't like it because we are against the agenda. Um, their political agenda, they shove down our throats all the time. All the children videos, my, you know, my children watched, I screened them all, hundreds of them. And that's not exaggerated. I screened them all because I care for my children and I don't want, I, I don't want them to, to, to get raped by any pink list killers. I don't want them to trust any pink list killers. And I don't want it to become any pink list killers because they're, they're going to be unhappy. And I don't want my kids to be unhappy. So, especially my boys, they're very, very straight. They don't like police. They don't, they know what a bunch of liars they are. They were there and they suffered. And they don't like Switzerland. They know what a bunch of liars they are. Although their mother is Swiss, they were born in Switzerland. And they don't like pink list killers either. So you hear that, Swissy? We don't like pink list killers. I hope that's not forbidden to say, for God's sake. Right? Well, Swissy made a new law last year. You know, it's forbidden to criticize the pink list killers. And you go to prison for a bloody long time, you do. What a shame it is. So my wife here, it says here, ah, oh, Loy. She's an honest person. She, you know, she tries to, she, she's helping people and he, she says it's, it's not true that Mrs. Pinkless Killer Kunz here, that I was swearing and that there were many passengers passing by. Uh, she said that, that I was uh, patient and quiet and, uh, which is the truth, you know? And Mr. Cooney, he couldn't, you know, my, 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 my liberty of expression, he couldn't. And that they were, he couldn't, you know, handle that. They were, she, she thought they were very unprofessional. And um, the thing is that bothered my wife the most is that the, um, the Nazi cop, you know, he said that I should leave Switzerland. You know, um, um, where is it? Well, it's, it's somewhere here. Um, yeah, here it says, um, uh, I leave the country. That's land doch zu verlassen. That's what he said. You know? So he's a Nazi. Yeah? So I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's the truth. You know? And, well, if you read German, you can read it all, you know?
and I was polite, she said. I, I gave, I shook him the hand. I said, Z, and I talk about criminal, I did talk about criminality in Switzerland. Yeah. Instead of, you know, like, go, go, go search for some criminals and leave some, you know, innocent families, leave them alone, go away, leave me alone. I mean, that's what I said, yeah. And, uh, well, pink list killer judge, pink list killer police woman, and a Nazi cop. Wow. That's kind of deadly for a family. Oh, where are you going? And about this, the criminal Nazi cops of Switzerland, they don't talk about this, eh? do they now? So I wrote this like uh, 12 years ago, 2009. The Swiss People's Mafia, all states' powers at their disposal, at their personal disposal. In the beginning of the year 2001, my child, Myron Cedric Frey, was abducted with the help of the Swiss state. Now 2009 and eight years later, now we're 20 years later, eh? I don't even know if he's still alive. No more life signs ever since. A few weeks later, after the kidnapping, five Swiss men forced themselves into our home in Hindelbank, in the canton of Bern. I couldn't do anything because I was alone with my other newborn son of only several months old. That was Killian, the piano player, the little baby. They threatened us and said that I shouldn't write like that against Switzerland several times. Uh, several times I had written articles in several newspapers revealing their crimes and had dropped a complaint against Switzerland at the Human Rights Commission in Strasbourg, France, etc. But the actual director is a Swiss, Mr. Lucius Wildhaber, and my case was treated again by a Swiss, Mrs. Isoli, like Isis or... So, so anyone still wants to hear the outcoming result? They went on, and if I ever wanted to see my son Myron again, I should better write against the Jaywalkers and Christoph Meili. Well, who the hell is Christoph Meili, I thought, because I didn't even know who that was and what he was famous for or in infamous. Apparently he also expressed himself about something the Swiss censorship didn't approve of as I have very long hair and fought for four years against apartheid in what used to be my country in hate, racism and, and anti-jaywalkers. Since I've been about five years old, I feel an urge to do something against all these wars and injustice in the world. So I first didn't give in to this blackmail because I do believe in the sufferings of Primo Levi and, and Anne Frank. I then discreetly asked for help at the Israeli embassy, the Jewish World Con Congress, the Simon Simon Wiesenthal Center, the Jewish communities in Bern and Strasbourg, etc., etc. Never any help has come, not even an answer. Then we fled to France because the man came again, six, six this time. And surprisingly, the sixth man was an Arab. So what is an Arab doing with Swiss Nazis? Consequently, I couldn't appear in court the following May in Bern and was therefore punished without any trial to five months high security prison a year later upon our return because we had no more money and my wife was in the final month of her pregnancy. We had to go back into her home country. During these five months, I was heavily tortured by O2T, torture, uh, oxygen deprivation and my health is still broken this very day. Then in the summer of 2002, I managed to escape prison's hard labor camp. I'm definitely not a criminal and I had to. And because I'm not an anti-jaywalker, I wrote again to the jaywalker communities in Bern and Strasbourg, amongst others, and asked for help. No reply, neither from the Israeli embassies in Bern and Paris. Due to my conviction, I infiltrated neo-Nazis in South Africa and elsewhere lo long before, over many years ago. So I know what kind of ideologies are spread amongst them and I just revealed the world in the um, uh, in these uh, texts what sort of nonsense, lies Nazis believe in and talk of amongst each other. And if any help might be delivered someday, which I hardly believe anymore then we can use this knowledge to fight and conquer this monster. I feel like in Jim Jarmusch, down by law, and I feel raped, destroyed and broken. 
As Primo Levi's Levi said, I only continue living to tell the world. Well, I go on for the love of my kids and I hate Nazis and those evil Swiss. The international community must stop the Swiss. The blood of millions sticks on this country. Because every damn war is being financed through Swiss banks. I always say Switzerland is a dictatorship wrapped in nice milk chocolate, where everything which is not forbidden is compulsory. I suppose this makes me, my children and my family victims of, of um, anti-Jaywalker. Uh, this makes me, plus in Switzerland, Nazis occupy all key positions in society and the Jaywalkers only help each other. It's not like in Schindler's List. This story proves that also non-Jaywalkers can be victims of anti-Jaywalker, anti-Jaywalkerism. Whereas jaywalkers are only being crushed from one side, as non-jaywalker victims of anti-jaywalkerism are being crushed by Nazis and by the jaywalkers themselves. There just are no human rights. These horrible Swiss and the UBS United Banks of Switzerland probably are the only winners in this, as always, while they keep smiling through their teeth. By the way, the 2009 scandals of, of the Arab terrorist Moes Gassalaoui being financed by the Swiss state backs up what I already wrote in 2003, that Muslim terrorists and Swiss Nazis have been teaming up for quite a while now. The 9-11 attacks might very well be the Swiss UBS revenge for the 1997 uh, Holocaust lawsuits against Switzerland and their crimes. This is exactly in line with the Swiss attitude of their never-ending hatred and never forgetting towards others. It's just how they are. By Sean Ross, who had to escape the Swiss and German Nazis to ask for help at the Jurassic Independent Movement of the Free Mountains in the Republic of Jura, where he lives now in the village of Sambre. So I wrote this before uh, I started doing YouTube. Uh, I wrote this apparently in 2009. And um, so that's already like uh, 11 years ago. And because it didn't help, you know, I started doing YouTube and making videos. Um, there are no human rights. There, there are no human rights. There's, there's, I mean, what else can you do, you know? So I've been telling, and I've, I've been, I've, before YouTube, before 2010, I've, you know, for t for 10 years bef before that, you know, since the, the terror, the Swiss terror started, I've been telling the Swiss police every time they arrested me and came to, you know, and uh, every time they said, well, shut up, don't talk about it. And I've been telling the Swiss Nazi Justice Department as well, and I've sent them many, many mails and also to the uh, to politicians, really thousands of mails. It has cost us a fortune, uh, all the stamps and everything. There was still the snail mail, you know. And um, from the Justice Department, I, I never got any answer, you know. Um, only when I talked to them, when they, when they brought me in front of a judge again, he also told me to shut up, you know. So here's this guy, Jörg Bela Oberrichter. He's a, uh, a chief judge, a super judge and who apparently is a pink list killer, just like that female cop. They're a bunch of liars, you know, we are. And the other cop was a Nazi. I mean, and nobody does a thing, you know. 23 years of terror, I lost my family, I lost my health, I, I lost my human dignity, I lost everything. Uh, I'm in France, so they are not very helpful either. And all these letters I wrote to the jaywalkers, they don't even answer it, you know. Well, the only one who, who contact me really is um, is Roseanne. And she's, um, she's my friend and she has a good heart, so, you know, Roseanne. And, uh, yeah, well, that's how it is, people. I did everything I could and... Um, um, I'll be leaving YouTube soon as well. Um, 
So Swissy and their pink list killer mafia sentenced me to pay 1000 Swiss Nazi francs for every single time I'd upload that little sequence of that corrupt Swiss Nazi cop, Hans Rudolf Kuni, hitting me. And for every thousand Swiss Nazi francs I cannot pay, I'll have to go for one substitutional month to prison in a high security torture detention center for political prisoners. Therefore, I just uploaded the sequence of the violent Swiss cop Hans Rudolf Kuni, whom you can see here, 17 times in this video. So this video has just cost me 17,000 Swiss Nazi francs, which I cannot pay. And therefore, for this video and for showing the evidence 17 times, I have to go to a Swiss Nazi high security prison for political prisoners for one and a half years, just for making this honest video. Oh, one more time, Swissy, there we go. Oh, wohin soll ich? So I'll finish this long video. I hope it was not too long, but it was necessary. Um, with the text I also wrote 20 years ago. And this um, a picture you see here, this good person made a melody out of it. So you can try and search this. So here goes the text. The title is Warrior versus Soldier. A warrior or Kshatriya is able to take decisions himself. A soldier needs a general to take up orders. A warrior thinks autonomously and is spiritual. A soldier takes drugs and alcohol, alcohol etymologically uh, from the Arab language meaning illusion. A warrior has a code of honor. A soldier possesses neither conscience nor ethics. A warrior protects children because they're sacred. A soldier kills them, as in my lie, Auschwitz, and all air raids on cities and bombs on children's rooms and all genocides, mass murders and massacres on civilians. All that, soldiers enjoy doing so. It's supposed to be good for the esprit de corps, or something of a kind. It's good for the morale. A warrior still remembers that the pharaohs precisely that way justified the police and an army through robber barons and gangsters who were they themselves as well, Equal, equally as the two skyscrapers in America, blown up by the pharaohs themselves in order to justify further war crimes. A soldier doesn't care about all that. He's a pure instrument within of our masters. A soldier cultivates sexual abstentions and the sublimations of its energies cause through every ejaculation essentials as the liquid gold are being extracted through the spiral cord with into the head. The articulations feel non-greased and one becomes terrestrial without a higher force. A soldier rapes in war times and pays for it in peace times. A warrior will continue to be so into highly progressed age. A soldier is worn out at the age of 35. A warrior is also strong and brave in a situation alone against many. A soldier only is strong and brave when many against few. A warrior follows his conscience and fights against injustice. A soldier is being led by the pharaohs or demons and always searches the strongest side and that of the oppressors. A warrior listens to the inner voice and the sixth sense. A soldier only listens to the voice of the pharaonic commander. A warrior is in no need to prove his masculinity all the time like by oppressing others for instance because he has full control over the knowledge. He shows his strength while playing. A soldier feels lost when hierarchy is not defined, as in a pack of wild animals who need the alpha leader. Mother, do raise as many warriors as possible so the pharaohs won't snatch your children to make soldiers out of them. And father, do understand that the rulers trap 
becoming soldiers likewise by presenting them manhood, strength and virility in advance, though it can only be completed by initiation of a manhood's ritual after the rules, laws and wisdom of the elders. For a warrior, fear forms a natural element which can be interpreted, because one can be warned for danger by it. A warrior's analysis says what is stronger, one that stands up out of the trenches, runs towards the enemy, gets a medal posthumously and celebrated the hero only because he cracked and couldn't deal with fear anymore. Or is he stronger, who remains in the trenches, deals with the fear while noticing further on all warning lights of danger, who looks fear straight in the eyes and withstands it? A soldier gets trained into fearlessness, because this way he better carries out the orders. Religious fanatics, political fanatics, of a furious cult or chauvinist fan fanatics, these are all the pharaoh, pharaonic rulers means to either create cannon fodder or instruments of terror. But of course a warrior must be able to control his fear and under circumstances to be able to shut it off but then only when he wants it and not when the others and their doctrines do want so or because fear just gets too overwhelming. But principally he lives with fear as being a sixth sensed ally. A warrior enjoys and needs loneliness for balance and thus to complement himself. A soldier doesn't manage alone, nor without the so-called esprit de corps. He needs the family that the army substitutes him. A warrior doesn't need to talk without saying nothing. He is. A soldier must scream, shout and give out orders. Otherwise, he's not feeling confirmed. A warrior matches himself against infinity and the ancestors for measure. A soldier matches himself against hierarchy and the enemy. A warrior is a modest person and doesn't see glamour. A soldier collects medals for his outrages. Future warriors are being called by the inner quest. Future soldiers are lured in by the enemy by the army, by baits a strength, manhood and fearlessness to be gained, thus presented in propaganda films. Evidently cause, evidently cause they don't possess any of them. A warrior dresses himself as he pleases. Soldiers all look alike in their forced guard robes. A warrior is able to organize himself by direct communication as in Non facet pugnum digito ono, with only one finger one cannot make a fist. A soldier can only function in a given organization. A warrior rinses his nose several times a day in order to have a sharp mind. A soldier rather puts drugs up his nose and owes a and owns a blunted mind. A warrior knows that after the atomic war there will be one again with bow and arrow. A soldier believes that he'll never run out of weapons and, am and ammunition. A warrior also uses elegant weapons because he knows that a bullet can be stopped, but the word crashes through the wall, flies over borders as a military jet and swims over oceans as a naval ship. For a soldier, there are only there only are destructive, all-killing weapons, ranging from swords, rifles, grenade, tanks, naval vessels, until atomic bombs, until all existence has died out. A warrior, when naked, still is a weapon. A soldier never can hang on sufficient armory. A warrior is aware that war means to die himself. All soldiers are convinced of victory and that only the others die. A warrior knows when one doesn't organize amongst each other, only the rulers will do so for you, without you and despite you. A soldier doesn't contemplate an organization, he's just part of it without being conscient about it. As a warrior hungers for justice, 
He fasts every evening and night in the solidarity with the poor and the starving ones. For a soldier, there are canteens in peace times and pillaging in war times. A warrior utters in humor, my name is Bond, Vagabond. A soldier believes he's playing the leading part himself. After the principle of an indoctrination of the media's propaganda, propaganda machinery. Team up, people. As in non facet pugnum, digito uno. See you on the other side.